Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. But as you all know, I just had two babies and I am ready to finally get back on my losing weight, eating right, going hard like i'm ready so i decided to do this video just to help others out there now i do want to say just because like if you didn't have a baby that it's okay you still can follow these meals um to lose weight but right now you know i'm trying to get the postpartum weight off so just a bit of transparency I weighed in at 205 pounds this morning. What I do want to mention is that when you're looking at your weight, you don't just want to go by the number that's on the scale. It is important to look at your body fat percentage as well, because honestly, a week from now, I can literally eat right and exercise every day and my number could still be the same, 205, but my body fat percentage could have went down. Now, of course, you can't just do it for two weeks and stop. This is a lifestyle that you have to but it has to become a habit but i just want to show you what when you're eating right and just exercising because you do have to exercise but i do want to say that if you only have the ability to just eat healthy right now that can make a world of a difference as well um your nutrition plays 80 percent as far as you losing weight so it's more important than just exercising so I'm going to be showing you all what I eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and snacks. I also want to mention as far as drinking, I drink Essentia water. You can drink whatever water you like, um, whatever your preference is. But what I will say is that you want to drink a half an ounce to a whole ounce of what your, um, your body weight is. So, for example, I'm 205 pounds, so I want to drink 205 ounces a day or half of that, which would be like 102.5, something like that. So I'm gonna try to just drink a gallon. It meets it kinda in the middle. So just to show you all what I have for my um, gallon, I actually purchased this from Amazon and it's just a gallon container that has different sayings all the way from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Honestly, I will not be paying attention to the time because I'm just not like, I necessarily won't start drinking at 7 a.m. So it, it might not apply to me, but it just gives a reference to how much you should be drinking every so amount of time and such on and such on. So a, a, a gallon is 116 ounces. And honestly, I probably will end up drinking more just from other things, such as in my smoothie, I put water. Um, when I drink my pre-workout, I have to put water. So if I drink a whole gallon of this and then just other things that have water in it, it's gonna be a little bit more. So I'll still be a little bit more, I'll be a little bit over a gallon. So, so that's it for my little introduction rant. Um, if you have any questions, of course, leave it down below. I'll help you as much as I can. I am not a nutritionist. I'm not a trainer. I'm just going by what I did previously when I lost weight. As you can see, I need to lose weight. My arms are flabby. It's like my skin, my eczema. I feel like when I gain weight, my eczema starts to flare up more. I don't know why. It's just I need to lose weight. Right now, I have on a J Sculpt belt, but please don't let this fool you, okay? don't let this don't let this fool you okay so that's it for my introduction you guys also one other thing i want to mention is that you have to realize that in the beginning you're gonna lose a, a significant amount of weight because it's body water i mean it's water weight which goes away fast so you'll see that drop off quick so yeah that's it you guys i'm gonna go ahead and start my first meal of the day which is breakfast
So I didn't have time to make breakfast today and I had to go to the gym while I was on this side um, by the gym. So I didn't have time to make breakfast. So I got an egg white grill and instead of the hash browns, so I got fruit for my side and I got some water. So that is my breakfast for today.
y'all another day at chick-fil-a but this time i stopped and i actually got some a 12 count of the grilled nuggets i cannot eat my nuggets without sauce you guys so i actually got the zesty buffalo sauce because this was the one with the least amount of carbs and the least amount of calories i do not know how it tastes but we gonna see